Right, so question six is one of those questions that candidates can off, often dread because of the sheer amount of information in it. But um, hopefully I can show you that it's a relatively straightforward question with the right approach. So we're told that Sue is driving home from her friend's house and she drives 10 miles from her friend's house to the motorway, then 240 miles on the motorway and then five miles from the motorway to her home. Sue takes 20 minutes to drive from her friend's house to the motorway, drives at an average speed of 60 miles per hour on the motorway, and then takes 25 minutes to drive from the motorway to her home. Sue stops for a 30 minute rest, and then she leaves the house at 9 a.m. What time is she going to get home? We've got to show all our working. Okay, now, what I'm going to suggest here is to get an idea of what's going on, we're going to, uh, draw a bit of a picture of what's happening so let's see um, she's 10 miles from her friend's house uh, to the motorway and it tells us she's gonna drive from the friend's house to the motorway so we're gonna break the journey up into parts so this is from the friend's house we'll call it F from the friend's house um, and she's driving along the motorway or driving to the motorway should I say so this point here is going to be the motorway I'm gonna call it M um, she's going to drive along the motorway for 240 miles um, to get to her home. So there's another stage. So this is the beginning of the motorway. Call this uh, motorway one. This is the start. And then she's going to drive along that motorway for a period of time until she gets to the end. So we we'll call this, I'm going to call it M2. That's the end of the motorway. Okay. And then from there, she's going to drive again well she's going to drive again from the motorway to her home now so this is an idea of what's happening let's see right so it's 10 miles from her friend's house to the motorway so we know that the distance from here to here is going to be 10 miles and we know because it tells us that it takes 20 minutes okay that's fine it also says uh, that the motorway is 240 miles long. So she's going to drive along the motorway at 240 miles. Um, and it says here that she drives at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. So 60 mph. All right. We don't know how long that's going to take, but we know she's going to drive at 60 miles per hour. It also says then it's five miles from the motorway to her home. So this is going to be five miles and it tells us that she takes 25 minutes for this part of the journey so we know that this is 25 minutes now is there anything else we forgot oh she's going to stop somewhere for a 30 minute rest don't forget i'm going to write it up here the rest for 30 minutes now we're going to have to include that in our answer somehow she's going to leave at 9 a.m so we know that she's going to start at 9 a.m. All right, we want to know when she gets home. So let's see. Well, we're fairly satisfied with the 20 minutes up here. So we know this is 20 minutes. That's fine. We don't need to work anything out. We know it takes 20 minutes for that part of the journey. Well, this part of the journey is 240 miles, and she drives at 60 miles per hour. Okay, so 60 miles an hour would mean if she drove 60 miles, it would take one hour. If I want to know how long it took, I'm just going to divide, I'm going to divide 240 divided by 60, because she's gonna go, it's gonna take one hour to do 60 miles. Now, let's see if that works out. The two zeros are gonna cancel out and six divides into 24, four times. So that's gonna take four hours. So four hours for that leg of the journey. I'm going to write that. Well, let's just write it here. Four hours. I'll change that to black. So four hours for that part of the journey. This part of the journey is going to take 25 minutes. That's fine. 20, 25 minutes. And don't forget the rest, the rest for 30 minutes along the way. 30 minutes. So let's get the total time 
taken. Okay, so the total time is going to be found by adding up these. We get five here, five minutes, and then two and two is four, four and three is seven. That would be 75 minutes. Be careful here. 60 minutes is one hour. So 75 minutes is actually one hour, carrying that over, and 15. Okay. 75 is 1 hour and 15. So then we get 1 and 4 to get 5. So we know it takes 5 hours, 15 minutes. 5 hours, 15 minutes for the total journey. Now she leaves at 9 a.m. What time is she going to get home at? Let's see if we can count up from 9. Count up 5 hours, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. 2, 15 is what I work it out to be. So 2, 15. And not a.m., p.m., because we've passed 12 o'clock.